Hey folks, I got something new for you guys for the channel. What I have here is a pocket sharpener from Wesson. Um, I think that's what you call it. Do you say Wesson or is it W-E-S-N? I know it stands for West, East, South, and North, but I always refer to them as Wesson. But this is their pocket sharpener. It's a portable one. This goes for like 35 bucks. Uh, it's something I keep in my, in my EDC bag or in the car. Uh, so if I have to sharpen something on the fly, this is what I use. So it has a coarse side. I, it doesn't really say the coarseness, but it's, it's actually pretty coarse. I'm going to say, I'm going to say it's like 600, maybe even seven or eight. And then it's got a diamond, you know, stone side. Uh, I'm not sure what this is. If this is actually a stone or if it's like some kind of metal that they, you know, put this uh, coarseness to. But this side, this fine stone side is definitely a stone because you can see by the thickness of it. And you can see that this is like a metal. But um, I wanted to share this with you guys. Um, I myself have recently learned to sharpen with stones. I actually love it. Um, I mean, I don't have a wicked edge. I have other, you've seen the channel. I have other sharpening systems. I'm sure I'd fall in love with the wicked edge. But with my chef knives and my paring knives, I've been using the stones lately. And one thing I learned watching these YouTube guys do like sharpening, these chef, not these Japanese chef guys, you guys just don't be scared, just do it. And of course, I'm still a little scared. And I actually only sharpen my crappy knives like, this victim today <laughs> this uh dragonfly but i wanted to show you guys this portable sharpening stone from wesson and let's see how it does let me i'm just gonna put some water on it okay i've soaked it in water you see that the water actually stays pretty good on it and <clears throat> i'm gonna use this cutting board and we're gonna cut, we're gonna sharpen this bad boy. So what I do is I, uh, like everyone does, they put the Sharpie on the edge. Hopefully you guys can see that. So I know that I'm getting the right angle. And this is, oh, oh, Michael. That's what I didn't want to do on video. Let's see if I can wipe that off. Awful. Oh, thank God it came off. Okay. Oh, that's horrible. But <laughs> well, you'll definitely know if I'm taking a lot off. Uh, so I just put water on it. That's what I've been using water. I know some people like using oil. Now for the Spyderco, what's the angle? Like 15 degrees, 17 degrees? Is it 20? I don't even know. We're just going to eyeball it. I'm going to check it out. Uh, all right, I'm gonna begin this is bad boy. Gonna wipe it off a little bit just to see the progress. I think I'm getting it. I like to experiment on the, the different ways. Some people do it like this. Some people do it like one. I saw a Japanese guy and this guy looked like a pro. He just was going to town. I think I'm just gonna stick to that. You know what I find hard? Sharpening down here because this keeps bumping into it, so. You hear it? You hear it bumping? Let's see. See, it does a pretty good job uh, holding the water on the stone. I like that. I noticed that. Let's see. It's horrible. 
It's a little uneven. It's definitely taking material off. But you can see I'm getting this better than towards here. It's always thinner here. I'm going to finish this side off. And then I'll see if I can do the back end of it. I'll probably speed this up. Looks pretty good. Let's see. All right, now I'm doing the, the back of the blade. You see that? Not getting that toothiness yet, so. See, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see people. Material now. Kind of evening it up. Kinda. My OCD won't let me stop. Okay, a little better. Compared to this side. This side. See, I'm weak over here. I'm still working on my muscle memory. Getting there. Okay. Definitely got a burr now. Let's do the other side. I'm going to start on the top. Good. Very toothy. I'm gonna, I'm gonna start with the tip. Get a couple of passes on the tip. Just the tip. Throw in the middle. Maybe this is the way to do it. This stone is small, right? But it actually stays put pretty well. I cannot complain. I guess because it's very small. What do you guys? This side looks much better. See that? Except for here, because I suck. You're still not as good. I might be off on the angle on that one, but don't be scared. Just sharpen it. Not as good as Joe Bananas with his wicked, with his wicked edge. Getting there. This actually looks better than getting this better than the other side. <clears throat> oh yeah. Oh yeah. <clears throat> Trying to get that toothiness to it. This side still looks like shit. This side. So much better. Oh, yeah. I know a bunch of sharpening experts out there like, what the fuck are you doing? I don't know. I'm just learning. Oh yeah, look, it definitely takes a lot of material. Look at that. Almost like a platinum tip. What are you doing? What are you doing? I go. Alright, I think I, I think that's enough for that side. Try this side a little bit more. Maybe I'll put this on over. All right, do a little cut test. Hopefully, I did a good enough job. Oh, 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 oh is that on camera? 
Oh, look at that. I feel so accomplished. All right, so I got that toothiness to it. Show you guys. Okay, on one side. The other. I'm gonna polish it up a little bit. This already has water. Mmm, pretty. I'm still not happy. I'm just, this is nothing to do with the stone. I'm just not happy with this edge. I just suck at it. There we go. This got a little wet. I thought you knew this thing. <laughs> Whatever. Anyway, folks, uh, I just wanted to show you that. This sharpener from Wesson, this pocket sharpener. Pretty neat for an EDC sharpener on the go. Anyway, guys. I know you guys are going to kill me for my horrible sharpening skills, but peace.